Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and today I have some swatches and some just like initial thoughts I wanted to share on these new little eyeshadow quads from Revlon. These are called So Fierce and this is what they look like. Really, really pretty. They have like this cool texture on the, on the shadows here. Um, each one comes with four shadows, which is why they're quads. Um, I did get these at, of course, Walgreens. They were $10.99 a piece. Uh, they were buy one, get one half off. I had coupons. I am an employee, so I get a discount. It was just a really good deal, which is why I got four shades instead of just like a couple. Uh, I don't really know how I think of these just yet because I... I don't know. I don't know if I like them or if I really don't like them at all. Um, I've worn them several times, not every single shade of course, but I've tried each of these palettes so far and I, I don't know what I think about them. So far they're not better than the looks book palettes that Revlon has, you know those ones that have the tiny little pens. Those are leaps and bounds better than these so far, but I don't know what I think so far. So really I just wanted to share swatches and like initial thoughts as we go along, but yeah. Here we go. This one is called Tantrum, and each of these seems like it has only shimmers, but upon further investigation, some of them do uh, look like they're matte, especially in a swatch. I think one of these shades is like an actual matte shade, but even that one, they do have some nice sheen to them, like they're not a flat, dry looking matte. Not that all mattes are dry or flat looking, but they all have some sort of sheen to them at the very least. But they all look, on first a glance, even like when I was looking at these in the display, they all looked metallic. Um, it does say they are rich, richly textured eyeshadows with creamy color and crystal shine. As far as the crystal shine goes, if you're getting ready in the morning like I am with the light shining right in your face, the shine, it looks freaking brilliant. Like they look so, so nice. But then once you turn the light off in your natural light, you see like they went on kind of patchy. It's not that pigmented. It's just the, the light like kind of um, blinds the, or camouflages like the, the weirdness of them. I can't put my words together. I don't know if I like these, that's all I'm saying. Okay, let's swatch. So they all have like this cool like wavy look to them and your finger kind of fits perfectly in each pen. So as far as the way the formula feels, they don't feel dry, they don't feel uh, chalky, they don't feel patchy, not that they could feel patchy, but you know, dry and chalky anyway. They don't swatch patchy, they actually swatch very nice. So there's the swatches of the one here called, what was it, Tantric? Um, this one, the or Tantrum, Tantric, Tantrum. Uh, this one here, the other day, I actually wore this as a highlight and this is a blush and I thought it was really pretty because when I swatched this the other day, it was a lot lighter of a swatch, but it looked like a nice highlight shade. It looked like I had eyeshadow on my face. It wasn't like the best looking highlight, but the, the pinky shade here was a really pretty glowy blush. I really liked it for that. <sighs> okay, so I... As far as application goes with these, I cannot find a brush that works with these. Every brush I use just, it picks up, it seems like just the shimmery parts and it flies everywhere. Fall out like crazy. So I haven't been able to find a brush that works with these yet. I've only been putting these on with my fingers. Uh, but let's move on to the next one. This is the one here called Clap Back. Clap Back really really pretty shades here. I think they just look so pretty in the pans. Uh, this one I was wearing earlier today and it's a really pretty like lavender kind of taupey beautiful shade. It kind of looks like that one shade from um, Sydney Grace Troops. I feel like it kind of looks like that. I, ha I have that shade and I've probably worn it one time. I gotta go look at it again and see what it looks like. But anyway there is the other palette there. It swatches better than it performs because now that I'm swatching these I'm like dang these are really pretty But I can't get them to look like this on my eyes, and I don't know why that is um, They're just not Like I said, I can't find a brush that really picks them up nice enough to apply them to the lid Also another thing I've noticed with these you must 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 use a tacky base. Um, if you use concealer and then you like set it or you use a primer and then you like set it and you like to have like that dusty kind of, I don't know, not dusty, but you know when you set a primer because you want to help things blend, these are not going to work that way. I can only get these to stick with a sticky tacky base. 
Um, so I like the KVD Shake Primer. I just like this in general, but it does leave a nice tacky base for these to go on. And it sticks pretty nicely to that with the finger. Like I can only seem to get these to work with my finger. Um, and even then, let's move on to the next one while I continue talking. This is the one called Slight Flex. I think this is the one that has a matte shade in it, but it also just has a nice sheen. Um, there's this one here. Um, so even though they're swatching nicely, they stick nicely to a tacky base. The pigmentation on the eye is really, really hard, is, is really, really difficult to get to look even. That's what I'm trying to say. So there's this one here. This shade right here is really pretty, but I want more from it. Let me try if I can swatch it. Let me see if I can swatch it a little, like, deeper. Um, it has this really pretty, like, I don't know, pretty shift to it. Um, this one's probably my least favorite of all of them, even in just swatches. They're all just really light, shimmery shades. If that's what you want from your eyeshadow palette and you just want like a light wash of something, some nice little sparkles on your lids, maybe you'll like these. Um, but like I was saying before, the pigmentation is very poor with these. I find it really difficult to get an even look. Um, of course, because I can't find a brush that works. I have a lot of brushes from Morphe and these ones do not work with these. They only pick up like the shimmers and I put them on and it just makes a mess. Um, I've also tried this brush here. It, this is from the Ulta Beauty brand. Um, it's like not as wispy as the, Ult as the Morphe brush. This one works okay, but I have to like dip it and like practically like paint it on. It's just, I don't know if these are like worth the trouble. Um, anyway, let's swatch the last one. This is the one here called Fully Loaded. Another really pretty, pretty color scheme here. I just find it really hard to get these to look nice as a nice complete look. And not that these aren't like a complete nice color scheme that they're giving you. These shades all go really, really nice together in each quad. But I can't get them to like go on my lid to save my life. Like I was trying to wear this green one earlier today and I couldn't get it to look even. It just kept looking so patchy and like, um, patchy. Like I was patting it on top of the KVD primer, just patting, 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 slowly trying to build it up. And I kept seeing bald spots and spots it wasn't going on. It was falling out all over my face. Uh, I can't find my little cloth. So far, I don't, I don't know about these. I'm not sure if they're like worth the trouble. I don't know. If you are going to try these out, you see them on the displays, if you buy a couple, let me know how you're using them. Let me know what you think of these. Because so far, swatches look great, but I cannot, for the life of me, get these to work on my eyes. I just can't. Um, so yeah, not sure what I think of them yet, but there are the swatches in case you're interested and some first initial thoughts, although not that positive. Anyway, that is it. Let me know what you think of these palettes. Are you planning to pick them up? I would suggest the looks book palettes way over these just so far. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions as always. And I'll see you later in another video. Goodbye.